So I've always been a food guy. I grew up restaurant, and uh, I always loved finding new places and spreading the word, but I never really wanted to try to make that because it seemed like too much work. Cocktails, I thought maybe I could do that. And I also started this as kind of a booze sissy. So when I would order, the waiter would deliver my drink to my wife and hers to me. So that kind of started changing when we were on vacation and we went to a craft cocktail uh, store and we bought a bottle of Small Hand Foods gum syrup. So when I got that, I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do with it and that led me to Old Fashions. And, and that was really the first thing that I made and that's all I made. Uh, one Christmas party, I think I made 60 Old Fashions for family and friends. And then now, this is the standard setup for a family and friends party. Uh, my sister said, this is the only hobby that I've ever had that anyone's actually benefited from. <laughs> so, so my goal is that you guys try to drink as well at home as you do at some of the great spots that we have around town, and also do that as cheaply and easily as possible. So a great drink to start with, again, is an old-fashioned, just a few ingredients, you know, bourbon, bitters, uh, syrup, and then you can tweak it based on how much of a sissy you are and then go from there. <laughs> uh, Amaretto Sour uh, was the next one that we went to and then we've just kind of expanded. So this is a little bit of, of what we've got now. I think I have seven different types of gin, I have 12 different types of whiskey, and 22 different types of rum. So obviously, that's not what you need to get started. <laughs> so this is, this is more what you need to get started. It's just some basic spirits, uh, some bitters, some syrups, uh, some citrus, something to measure with, and then something to shake your drink in or stir your drink. And if you want to level it up a little bit more, you can have some fun with a great shaker set, uh, a nice mixing glass, uh, a nice bar spoon, a julep strainer, maybe some other jiggers, and maybe even uh, a bar mat. So when it comes to booze, these are a few of uh, our favorites, and you can make a ton of stuff just based off these. So you can make Manhattans, Old Fashions, daiquiris, uh, gin fizzes, and then based on what you like, you can just kind of expand from there. Uh, I do recommend that you measure, because that way you can repeat the drink, and you can also tweak it. And there are also a ton of great recipes out there. So these are some of my favorite books, with Death & Co being my most favorite. Uh, just great recipes, great information on technique, spirits, etc. As far as the drinks themselves, uh, a big component is citrus. And the big thing to think about there is that you want it to be as freshly squeezed as possible. So if you're just gonna make a couple drinks, you might as well squeeze it as you go. But if you're gonna have a party, maybe squeeze a bunch that day. And then making syrups is easy too. So you've just got your sugar and your water, uh, could be different types of sugar, uh, could be honey. And then you're just gonna weigh that, throw it in a blender and mix it up. And then I like to use these uh, squeeze bottles to make it easy. Ice also has a big impact on the quality of your drink. So you don't want to be using that small crappy ice that's just gonna dilute and ruin everything. Uh, you want something that's, that's more dense, cubed, and luckily for us, uh, Batches has a bag that you can use just right out of the store. Um, glassware is another way to kind of elevate your cocktails, and with uh, these here, I think most of them I paid 25 or 50 cents at our local White Dove thrift store. So that's kind of a, a fun thing to do. Uh, bitters is another main component, and you can see uh, the Angostura bitters is kind of the old standard. You can make a ton of great drinks just with that. And then as you get interested in other ones, now there's like a zillion bitters out there, and we even have some uh, that are made locally that are great. Egg is another thing that's often used in cocktails to give them a great mouthfeel without affecting flavor. So with egg, you're, you're normally using the white, and the big thing there is just you want them as fresh as possible. So if you're making cocktails with egg or citrus, you're typically gonna shake and if it's more of a boozy cocktail uh, with your spirits, maybe vermouth and bitters or martinis, you're typically gonna stir those. So uh, a great place to start, again, is old fashions. You know, find a recipe and then start tweaking it based on how much of a sissy you might be. And then from there, go to something else. So for us, it was the Morgan Thaler Amaretto Sour. And again, I just made that one drink and then another one and now now I have a, an app on my iPhone called Highball, and it has all of the recipes that I've put in uh, that my family and friends like. So I've always got that with me. Um, I also put together uh, a resource sheet. So it's basically a PDF with specific re recommendations on barware, cocktail books, uh, spirits that you can actually get locally and places to go. You can find that at homecraftcocktails.com or you can text uh, for that.
resource. Thank you.